Hello guys, welcome back to CJ Made Simple. Today I will share with you some experiment that I did. It's about creating of detail map and mask map in Unity and I've tried to play around with it. You can see how cool the result is and it contains a bit of uh, optimization, ideas and just check the video and let me know what you think about and what approach, what your approach to this, to this topic is and how do you create disk these cool maps so let's jump into the video firstly I will start with creating a detail map I'll create material give some name and here under the type of the shader I'll choose standard choose the second one and then I'll drag the diffuse map or base map into the albedo the normal map respectively to the normal slot press fix and then also the same normal map here to the to the albedo the albedo then the material need to be selected go to edit rendering materials and then convert selected built-in material to HDRP press proceed and after a second voila we have it the ready the detail map so the material is converted to HDRP lit and the map it's created automatically by unity and it's put here to the slot. As a second step, I will create the mask map by right clicking again a new material. Let's call it 02. Drag, um, switch the shader to standard again, like this. It's going to turn pink again. Then drag the diffuse maps map to the albedo, height. To the height slot, metallic to the metallic slot, and normal to the normal map, and it's really important the ambient occlusion to the occlusion. I've prepared these maps. You can bake it, or you can you don't, you don't need to bake it. Whatever you wish. There are many options how to prepare them if you want to bake it in Substance Painter, Blender, 3ds Max, many opportunities. So then I'll go again, select the new material, go to the edit, again rendering materials and convert selected material to convert it to the HDRP. Proceed and after a second I have the mask map as well prepared. If I open it, it looks like this. And if I open the detail map, it looks like this. And then I decided to go crazy and see what it will happen. So this second material, I will copy it pressing Ctrl and G, rename it 3 let's say and then here I have already set the diffuse mask map normal and the height and I will drag over here the detail map like this and to see what will happen after I drag this material to the object Okay, something strange. This is due to the amplitude. I'll give here zero. And now I just need to make maybe a few adjustments because here it's overdone. It's too much reflection. Okay, 
just I'll play around a bit with the smoothness remapping like this and I think I had made super cool material with a lot of details over here and the cool part is that it's quite optimized because these maps, the mask map and the detail map, they are channel packet channel packaged maps. They contain in one single map they are four, three or four or five maps packed together. So this saves time and optimizes the performance. Let me just play around here a bit with the values so we can get all that we can from the information. We have remember a lot of information here in the maps so you can use it to get the maximum of your textures. Don't forget that this uh, I'm sharing this with you for a this chair but it can be used for all type of props, game, environmental, everything that you can come with up, all, all kind of 3D objects. And as a final, I would like to say, just let me know in the comments below what you think about it, how would you approach this situation, what would you tell me about my experiment, is it too much, can it be done better? and hit the like button if you like or learned something in this video if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now